Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I have another mail day video and that has been a while, my friends, for the simple reason that, um, yeah, I was kind of living on a magic budget. And uh, today is a very special mail day. I've got this big box, which has something for the patrons in it, so for the channel, but I'd love to show it to you. I also have ooh, another thick thing. Again, these are not cards, but it's uh, an accessory. So it's something you need for your cards. Um, and I've got two envelopes with magic cards in it. So I think I'll just start with this big package here sent to me by Ryan. And Ryan is one of my patrons. And also he helps me um, kind of organize things for the channel. Like he sent a lot of welcoming packages to the patrons in the States because I'm located in uh, in Amsterdam, in Europe. So, I mean, Ryan, thank you, man. You just, it's super cool. All the things you do for the channel, it's amazing. One of the things that Ryan did last year is he was fine. He found a great place to actually make these. Da -da -da -da. Let me show you. Let me get the camera. Oh no, it's falling down. Go, go up. You're thinking, what are these coasters? No, these are patches for the channel. Let me, you know what? I'll just put the camera back. Sorry, it's amateur hour here and I'll show you. Let's get the box out of the way. Oh no, they're all falling out. They're, doesn't matter though, they're cool. Uh, oh, look at how many, look at how many. So these are patches for the channel. And I already did um, a giveaway during Christmas. Oh, that was a while ago though, where um, my patrons at the $5 tier level, I believe, and also my early patrons, people that supported the channel almost from the start of its existence, uh, I gave them a patch. Um, and these are always kind of limited. I don't have a lot of these patches. Well, now I do, but believe me when you have like 150 patrons, then um, they go away very, very quickly. But uh, yeah, it's obviously, it's the logo. And um, this is designed on a picture of me dressed up as a Tim and I wear glasses. So hence the glasses. And here the stick on sideburns, which also has a nice story because I got the sideburns and the hat and the shirt. I actually got that from the Desert Twisters the old school Desert Twisters group. So that was super, super cool. There's a video about it, actually. I'll, I'll put a link here, an info card popping up for you guys that you can watch that video if you want to, to know more about the history of, uh, of Timmy Talks. But this is great. Thank you so much, Ryan, for these patches. Let me get them organized. Let's put them on top here. So we got big stacks. I mean, this is, this is really nice. So if you're a patron of the channel, you can expect to get an email soon. I don't know how soon or when, I gotta get organized first, but about your opportunity to actually get a patch. And I also give them away to like people that do things for old school within the community. So if you organize a tournament or something and I'm there, you're probably gonna get a patch. So there we go. Let's see, there's also a, look, there's a box here. Ooh, there's a box here. Okay, let me first finish the rest. Ryan, there is a box here. Did you put something in the box? Anyway, we got some more of these. Really nice. I think they're like 100, 100 of these, maybe? Anyway, we've got a little box. Let's open up the box. Ooh, we got Timmy's. That is sweet. I was actually running out of Timmy's, Ryan. So thank you so much. Look at this. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Timmy's. Thank you so much because I was running out. Uh, what happens if new patrons join? I usually send them a Tim as well. So I make a little doodle on it and sign it and, and send it to the patron which is quite nice. Like I see them popping up in decks every now and then, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this was the uh, the first part of the mail day. So we had our super cool, super cool patches, really liking them. Um, and now let's open up the accessory that I told you about. So I actually have, can you call it a sponsor? I've got a sponsor sending me sleeves, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, I'll put a, I got a um, referral code. Yeah, custom card sleeves by your playmat. Ooh, this box is new. They didn't have the box the last time. Oh, it's like falling out as well. There's a lot of stuff in here. Bomb. Yeah. Your playmat, pretty cool guys. I'll put a link down below where you can uh, order custom sleeves from your playmat with a discount. So you can use my code to get a discount. They're pretty good sleeves. I've, sorry, I've, I've used them on a deck uh, for a long time. I can actually, I can show you. They're still pretty good. Give me a sec. Uh, one of my, got one of my deck boxes here. I think this one has the Timmy deck in it at the moment. Let's see. Yep, so here you can see the sleeve. So I've been using this for a while. As you can see, it's still in pretty good condition. Well, really good condition, actually. I mean, if you want to be on the safe side, and I'm sure people know that that play a lot with like these custom sleeves, the best thing to do is just add an extra, like a third sleeve over it. So you, so you can do that as well, obviously, to protect the image. That's probably something I'm going to do with this. These sleeves, I believe I ordered like 100 of them. So this seems to be like 100. So that's quite nice. So thank you, your playmat, for that. That is really nice. Let's see if I can get it back in here. You know what, I'll, I'll do that later. Let's leave this here for now. And we'll get you back in the box later. I guess I got some sleeving to do. Um, okay, and now actually the fun part because we have magic cards in these envelopes. Oh, it's been so long. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'm gonna start with this one. People ask me where I get the cards from. It's usually a uh, magic card market, but also I just get my cards, of course, from the Dutch old school community and just from the old school community at large. There are some really good traders, uh, reliable people, and just other players, you know, we trade and stuff. This came from uh, from magic card market, these cards. Ah, yeah, 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 wall of shadows. So funny. Two Wall of Shadows. I just love walls. For me, walls is really old school. I completely understand why they hardly see any play in today's uh, old school meta, but it's a shame though, because we used to play with walls. It was a thing we did, you know? Everything's so optimized nowadays, and I just kind of feel like a wall is also, um, how, do you, how do you say it in English? It's also a way to show that you're against this optimization, you know? That guys, I'm playing this for fun. I'm gonna cast a wall. And then of course the ultimate challenge is to try to make a wall deck that kind of works. I've had a few on the channel, I'll put them in the description below of wall decks that kind of work. Uh, and I re just remember that this used to be a card that people used to play. Uh, it's an 01 for two black and one, a summon wall, obviously, wall of shadows. Um, damage wall of shadows receives from creatures it blocks is reduced to zero. Effects that target only walls may not target wall of shadows. Pretty cool, right? So you cannot um, use your um, Dwarven Demolition team to destroy the Wall of Shadows, for example. It's protected. And I just, for me, I wish it would fly as well. I think that would have been really cool because then it could have stopped also flying creatures. But yeah, I like the art here. Let me just zoom in properly for you guys. Pretty cool, right? It's a really nice card. I really like the flavor of it as well, that it's not a solid wall, you know, it's a wall of shadows that you kind of lose yourself in. Um, so it's 01, Pete Venter's art, really nice, cool stuff. I have no home for them yet, but I'll, I'll find a home for my wall of shadows. Maybe some kind of, you know, control build, who knows. Um, okay, and then we've got two other cards. Look at this, this is nice and beat up. <laughs> I love it. It's a basalt monolith. I didn't know it was so beat up. I probably ordered the cheapest ones that I could find. This one's pretty decent. This one's okay. But we've got two bezel monoliths, and my idea with these is, of course, you can combine them with power artifact to have like unlimited amounts of mana. But what I wanted to do was actually do something more fun and a bit more innocent, perhaps, but use them with Apprentice Wizard, because for one blue and tap, I get three colorless mana, so I can use that to untap the monolith. So if I have this in play, I can basically untap my monolith for one blue, and I thought it was kind of fun. I have no real plants with it yet, 
I mean, in the back of my mind, I own a playset of Colossus of Sardias. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe something toolboxy with Transmute Artifact. You know, Basil Monoliths, this dude, and just try to cast Colossuses like there's no tomorrow. But I I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It sounds pretty janky, so that sounds pretty cool to do. But it's it's in my head still. I need to I need to work out that plan. Anyway, we've got two Basil Monoliths. That means I now have a play set, I believe, which is quite nice. Let me put them here. Um, and then we have more post, and this is actually uh, for a deck for a deck that I'm building, well that I've built in the past that I want to start playing again. And I thought, let's try to make it, uh, to get some more, you know, old cards for it. Ooh, White Ward. So White Ward is a card that I play in a few sideboards. Um, and I know it's really bad, but I think it's super cool to play. Like for example, on a Juggernaut, when you're playing against an opponent who plays with white, then all of a sudden it's really hard for them to answer the Juggernaut. So I think it's funny. Protects, of course, from a Swords to Plowshares. So let's see, we've got two white wards, which is pretty sweet. I think Dan Frazier once said that this is his most like minimalistic art, the art that he doesn't like as, as much. I don't know if he was talking about the white wards specifically, but I think he was talking about wards in general and the art that he made for them. But I, to be honest, I like it. I like the simplicity. I think that's what a ward does. You don't really see a ward coming but then as a mage, when you cast a spell, you like see this shield, right? You're like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? It's not taking any damage. And that's then the ward working. So I like these subtle lines. I think I think they're cool. So the white ward, let's put it here. And we have one more card. Oh, Wall of Brambles. Yeah, Wall of Brambles. This is actually going to go in a deck. Like I said, I love walls. So uh, one green and two for two, three, and one green to regenerate. This is an unlimited version. Don't own any unlimited Wall of Brambles yet. This is the first one, so that's pretty sweet. And then we have, ooh, another card. Oh yeah, we got a Spirit Link. Play Spirit Link. So I'm actually gonna play these two in the same deck and it's going to be a deck with Enchantresses in it. It has been on the channel before, hint, hint. So if you've been like a regular at Timmy Talks, maybe you know what it's going to be. So we got a Spirit Link. And let's see, these are cards in a sleeve. I always keep these, by the way, and, uh, and resend them. So I've got a drawer here, let's put them in. Let's have a look. And we got a Spirit Link, and we got a Spirit Link. So Spirit Link, what it does is for every point of damage the target creature does, you gain one life. So one of the things I've tried to do in the past is put Spirit Link on a Timmy, because then of course uh, the Tim you know, can deal one damage to any target. But with the Spirit Link, you also gain a life. That's a pretty, you know, weak combo. And the thing is with Enchant Creatures is that you're setting yourself up for a two for one. You can, of course, also play the Spirit Link on your opponent's creatures. It also works great with cards like Orcish Artillery, If Biff Afrit. So it's versatile. And I'm going to use Spirit Link in a deck uh, with uh, Fridurian Enchantress, which kind of makes sense, right? Because it's an enchantment, so the Enchantress is going to give me a life, uh, a card for it, not life, but a card for it. So yeah, you know, I've, I've, I've got some plans. If they're good plans, I don't know, but <laughs> I've got some deck ideas that I want to work on. And um, anyway, this is the uh, the mill day for today. Oh, I do like the art. Look at this. Isn't it nice when you put them like together like so? I think that's really sweet. I think this is going to be the thumbnail of the mail day. This is really sweet. Anyway, uh, this was the mail day of today. Thank you very much for watching. Before you go, please uh, leave a like, a comment, and then share it on your socials if you want to, of course, but that would be fantastic. Uh, there are really easy ways to help the channel uh, grow further and to tell YouTube that you appreciate the content that I make talking about that stuff. There's also a Timmy Talks Patreon page. Check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks to find out how you can join the Patreon program. And then who knows, maybe, you know, you can also get one of these in the future. I mean, who knows? It's all uh, in the realm of possibilities. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
Sumba Kazik. 